Today's episode is all about confession. What does the Bible say about confession? And should Christians confess their sins to a priest? And also as a bonus, if you stay to the very end, I'll be sharing with you the one mistake that you could be making that will guarantee that God will never forgive you. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin and you are watching That Christian Vlogger. Baboon Man on YouTube writes in saying that at times it can be a little bit awkward when he goes into the confessional and wants to know how he can feel more comfortable sharing with the priest everything. Great question, let's dive in. First thing that I want to say is that I am a big fan of this type of communal Christian living. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I do very strongly advocate for the role of not only friends and family in the Christian experience, but also for mentors and teachers and pastors. And I do think that we have good reason to believe that the Bible would feel that this type of community should also apply in the realms of confession. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Apparently there is value in sharing your shortcomings and your struggles with the people that you know that you can trust. Now it is true that this verse is more accurately intended to be about prayer for those people who are sick, but I do believe that this verse could also apply to the wisdom of confession in general as well. I have had many moments in my life where the support and the encouragement and the love that I really just needed to, to overcome a particular struggle in my life, it, it came pretty much as a direct response to me opening up to a friend. So I would say that if you're struggling with a particular area in your life, you know, being vulnerable with someone that you know that you can trust and asking for not only their support and their prayer and their advice, then, you know, I think that this is actually a really good idea. But what about confessing our sins to a priest? Well, many of you guys might be surprised to learn that the Bible never mentions that we are supposed to be confessing our sins to a priest, or at least not how we see it on the movies. Many times in the Bible, 50 times in the ESV to be exact, we are pointed towards confession as a duty for followers of Jesus. For example, Proverbs 28, 13 says that those who conceal their sins, they won't prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them will find mercy. And also 1 John 1, 9 does say that if we confess our sins, then God is going to be faithful and just to forgive us our sins and then to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But notice what's missing in these verses. Nowhere does it say that our confession is to be directed towards a priest. In fact, I would argue that this is the exact opposite of what is taught according to the scriptures. Consider with me 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Or perhaps Hebrews 4 16, which says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. My understanding of these verses and others like them is that you and I have zero need to have a kind of like a go between between us and God. So to Baboon Man and others who feel similarly to him, there's really no need for us to confess our sins to a priest or a pastor in order for God to hear you. It's not as though God was more interested in talking to your priest than he was interested in talking to you. A large part of what Christ did on the cross was to destroy that wall of separation that existed between us and God. Nowadays, you and I can simply approach God for ourselves instead of going to a priest first. Now, then again, if you are simply confiding in your priest or your pastor because you respect their opinions and you're looking for some counsel or some advice, then no problem. I think that's a very wise thing to do. And before I move on to my last point on the subject, let me just simply say that this is just how I understand the subject. I'm, I'm only human. So if you want to, you can check out the full list of 50 verses on confession in the description of this video below. And I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Let me know. So what is the mistake that you could be making? What could you be doing that would guarantee that God would never forgive you? The answer is actually quite simple. Forgiveness. In the prayer that Jesus modeled for us, there is an often overlooked phrase regarding confession and forgiveness. Jesus said, forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. 
In other words, Jesus is giving us just a glimpse into how grace works. God promises to forgive us whenever we slip or fall. Seventy times seven times, Jesus will offer us grace and redemption, and this much is pretty much guaranteed. However, if we, after receiving grace and forgiveness from God, then we'll turn around and then refuse those who have wronged us, and we've refused to forgive them, if we don't have the ability to pass along that grace to the people who have hurt us the most, then the Bible does teach us that our confession may, in fact, just be in vain. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was not only inspiring, but challenging as well. If you've enjoyed this video, I want to invite you to partner with me and to become a patron. Much like services like Netflix or Hulu, Patreon allows you to make a very small monthly gift to ensure that videos like these can continue to be made and then the word of God can be shared all throughout the internet. As a deacon of a church that I once visited said, the gospel is indeed free, but it is expensive getting it out there. So if you can support even at just a few dollars a month, check out my page at patreon.com slash that Christian vlogger. But until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger, and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.